bro. Yeah. So, hey guys, my name is William Vasquez. Uh, I'm here with the team, we're Tech Turtles. What we have made is uh, an e-commerce platform. So the technology that we've used, we do is HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, Quagga.js uh, with a barcode reader, and on the node side, we use node mailer, handlebars, MySQL, authorizations, Ajax, you know, we've all seen all these technologies. Uh, so why Tech Turtle? So we decided to, first, the idea kind of started with building a inventory system, and then we're like, well, you know, this is kind of okay, let's keep moving up on this. And then we decided to keep growing, and we ended up being, building the whole e-commerce for the user and for the, uh, for the store owner. So this is something that I'm, I'm pretty excited because I actually want to use it at work. All right, yep. let's go ahead. Okay, so the problem is that the e-commerce software is pretty expensive and companies just don't want to pay for it. And the competition for e-commerce uh, basically goes up every single year. The solution is we built, we built, we're built building companies, the e-commerce site for free. And um, I'm Jeff Yorman. I did the log and authentication. Uh, I'm William Vasquez. I worked on the barcode, uh, worked on the cart and mailing system of the app. Jason Martosi worked on the front end, uh, the admins for the uh, users and uh, different screens that uh, let you uh, modify the databases. Um, right, right now, uh, time is right to give a free, uh, free um, I guess, okay. platform for uh, e-commerce software. Uh, how it works, admin registration is e-commerce is easy to set up. Uh, you set up the shop, uh, add your products, make categories, um, then you sell all your uh, products if you can. <laughs> and for the user, all you do is register, you shop, and then you purchase. And our revenue model, we didn't really create one because we weren't going to use it for anything, just for his company. <laughs> so, but if we were to use a revenue model, we would do a subscription-based model, and also we would pay, we would charge a percentage of each transaction. I guess the questions would be after we show the uh, actual product. How do you do on a Mac? I don't know. You're, oh, the, okay. you're the Mac. Oh, it's up there. Tech Turtle? You got it. Tech Turtle. It's good, right? Yeah, I think that's the all right, so who's going to go first, me? Yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to show you the, which one, the admin yeah. first? Yeah, the admin first. Um, which email is it? Yeah. Um, it was a two password. This is actually the user uh, email address, uh, so all they can do is shop. So I logged in with a user account. You have the shop button. These are your products that you can buy. You click on them. Shows you can uh, add them to cart. You get to the cart. Shows your product. You can change the quantity and the price will uh, update automatically depending on how many products you have that you're buying. And then you can check out. And it usually sends an email, but uh, Google has restrictions. I so, think we sent some out that got the people before. But, so just um, to, just to add it. to what Jason said, it does send you an email out. Uh, we, in the case of the cart, what we've done is we've done a cart on a session base instead of pushing it to the database because you have a lot of people that can look at something but won't purchase anything, so it's all session based. So if you open multiple sessions, you can have multiple carts. When you check out is when it's pushed to the database, when it's saved, when it's processed. Um, okay, so I don't know why it's coming two shops up there. I logged in with an admin. Uh, uh, account. Um, these are the users. Um, you can search, you know, don't search the users. All right. Actually, we'll go to uh, inventory and search by inventory. Um, these are all the products, and that you can go Apple, uh, you can do Google. I'll show you Turtle. We don't have Turtle. No, I removed Turtle. Same with orders. You can, uh, you know, search by order number, and it'll show you the uh, user ID, the barcode of the item you've selected, and how many you've selected. Um, Will's going to show the inventory, 
how you can add new products. You can edit new products. Um, you want to do that? Yeah, sure. So if you enter, if you enter an item, there's two ways of doing it. Um, I tend to be pretty lazy, so if I can automate anything, I try to. So there's two ways of inputting the data. You can either input the data manually, or you can use a hello, or you can use a barcode scanner. So we have here an example. Let's see if it picks it up. Of course, nothing has to. Nothing works when you need it to. Oh, there it goes. Um, So uh, sometimes it's the HTTPS or the HTTP uh, that we have an AJAX call that will get you the data. In this case, it's just giving you the barcode, but it does fill out, um, you know, when we've tested on, on different computers, it does work. It will fetch you the data for the barcode. Yeah, water also works. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I guess sometimes it's between the secure and not secure that it will work and it wouldn't work. Uh, so, and then you can fill out the information and add the new product. Probably wouldn't allow me, so just uh, wipes. Validation. Requirements, validation requirements on the forms. So. And there you go. And should be wipe the first, first product up there. So some of the next steps that we will definitely look into are integrating uh, the payment process. Uh, we were thinking about adding Stripe. <coughs> we we're also thinking of uh, text messages. So you get a text message once you finalize the process of purchasing. Uh, it does send you an email at the moment. With your with your order and, and all your stuff, and actually the last thing would be deploying it and you know pretty much trying to give it out to free for people to use and probably make some money on it. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> Questions? Yep. So how did you handle the? Um, I mean, first of all, it looks really great and like well thought out, especially the pre. So um, just seeing both sides of the equation, the admin side and then the user side. Um, and then how, when you're building the shopping cart, how, how is that done? So the, the shopping cart was actually, uh, we didn't build the whole thing. We, we did find uh, some pre-built code. Uh, it does work kind of like an Angular situation because it does a lot of the processing on the front end of the side. Like I said, this is session-based, so it is done on the client side until it's required to be pushed. Uh, so there's a lot of, I, you go to GitHub and open the, the shop.js file. Command C. Command C. So open a link. Yeah. <coughs> Controllers? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, public. Model shop. Yeah. No, public. JS. Assets. Uh, JavaScript. One minute, 29 seconds. Yeah, JavaScript. Uh, JQuery shop. So this, this, all this thing generates a temporary file on the client's computer, and that is what will allow us to create it and refresh it and keep it stored on the session side of the, of the customer. Any other questions? Uh, there's uh, something called a uh, open URL, something like open tab or something of that sort. So it just grabs a barcode and it'll push it through to this agent, to this it's API, and it'll just do the data call to an API to the information. Yeah. yeah. Was um nose mailer the thing that sent your emails? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The thing that it was working, but we, got we didn't want to spam it. So, but then when we started checking, we we didn't want to spam it. And then we started spamming it at the end. We were just making sure it worked. And Google kind of blocked us out, uh, so that's why it doesn't work. So up to like 30 minutes ago, it was working, but but I did get previous emails. Yeah, we probably loaded uh, Havan and Mike with a ton of emails, <laughs> <laughs> so they know it works. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we we in the case of Node Mailer, we did it the easy way, which was pretty much just putting the email and the password 
uh, we do have to go back and do the whole SMTP process to add a transporter and finish through the, that process. Cool. Right, thanks, guys. You're welcome.